Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Um, we're getting to the exciting part. I got the short block back from the machine shop. Uh, new pistons, rods, bearings, that sort of thing. But i um, got to put together the, the rest of it. So I'll, I'll put the cam in uh, in a moment. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to start with uh, is a new crankshaft timing gear. Um, I'm going to do a new timing set. Um, so this is a new crankshaft uh, timing gear. It's identical in every way to the old one. This is the GM part, um, but I just decided I would use a new uh, timing gears as well. That way uh, it wears in with the new timing chain as well. Um, you could probably get away with reusing the old one um, as long as there's no damage to the teeth. But for a few bucks, I decided that I would get this one. <clears throat> so you can see it slides over the front uh, of the crankshaft. There's a, a keyway in here that matches up with this key uh, here in the crankshaft. And then I've also got this tool. It's a uh, harmonic balancer installer. Uh, this is the economy version. Uh, there's there are fancier ones. I paid about twenty bucks for this from uh, Summit Racing. Um, basically, it's just a threaded rod that threads in to the front of the crankshaft. It's got a couple of uh, washers and then a nut um, that helps press this on because it is a press fit. So when you slide this on, like I said, it spins freely and then it gets it lines up with the keyway so make sure you've got that lined up we're going to put a dab of anti seize on these washers so that they slide freely between one another This is a 15 16th uh, nut. You see, it starts pressing that on there without too much trouble. Uh, but then we bottom out with the crankshaft. So, I think I should be able to use the old gear. as a spacer So I had to get something to hold the uh, front crank gear that I'm just using as a, a spacer uh, while I tightened this the rest of the way and I pressed it uh, all the way flush against the uh, front of the crankshaft. And then that got really tight and so I definitely had to hold this in place uh, while I broke it loose again. So some of the nicer versions of this tool uh, have a nut that's welded on there. Uh, which makes things kind of nice, but you know, for 20 bucks, this did what I needed it to. So, there we go. Um, crank uh, timing gear pressed on. We'll move on now to installing the crankshaft uh, and the timing kit, and I'll show you how um, I got a trick flow 
uh, adapter bracket so that I can run the LS2 style uh, timing chain damper as well. Uh, so we'll talk about that uh, coming up.